Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the Lightroom color grading trick I wish I knew sooner achieving consistent results across multiple images. Color grading is a technique to add a creative style to an image and today I'll share my exact Lightroom color grading technique with you. The preset I use in this video is available for purchase from my website, but follow along on the video and I'll pop up a coupon code on the screen for you to get it for free. Before we jump into the color grading technique, I want to give you a very quick overview of what color grading in Lightroom is. So in Lightroom, color grading is a way to apply a color effect to your image change colors, add in a bit of color, and that is done here on the color grading tab. Now you can affect the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights separately, and it's easy to do by clicking on this little wheel here. You can click and drag and add a color to a specific part of your image. You can click that highlight wheel there. You can click the midtone wheel there. So you can see you can add quite a creative effect to the image. Now these sliders underneath the color wheels that affects the brightness of the tonal range that you are affecting. You can click on the little eye here to turn the effect on and off. And then you have some sliders here at the bottom. The blending slider allows you to blend the shadows, midtones, and highlights together to a certain degree. With a setting of zero, none of them blend together. And with a setting going up to 100, it allows them all to blend together. And then the balance slider tells Lightroom what area is a highlight or a shadow or a midtone. So adjusting that slider to minus 100 will tell Lightroom the whole image falls under the shadow spectrum. And then going up to 100, the entire image falls under the highlight spectrum. I like to adjust those sliders just to see how the effect changes. So that's a basic overview. But in my color grading technique, I also implement the HSL sliders here, the hue, saturation, and luminance. Now, underneath the hue, you can change the hue of a color. So you can make the red slightly orange or the green slightly yellow, for example. The saturation, you can increase the saturation of the color. And then luminance adjusts the brightness of that color. So increasing the yellow slider there, for example, will increase the brightness of the yellow. So that's a nice way to target specific colors that already exist in your image. And the color grading is adding color into the image that isn't actually there. Worth noting under the color grading tab, if you click this little circle here on the right hand side, you can actually affect a global color onto the image. So you can add a color to the entire image. There are many different ways to color grade an image in Lightroom, but the technique that I'm going to show you is the simplest way that I've found to achieve a consistent look across images. If you're color grading a whole bunch of different images, it's very difficult and tedious to achieve the exact same look to an image, especially if the light is different and the subject has a different color. But the technique I want to show you now is basically using a preset based on only the HSL tab and the color grading tab. So you can see on the left hand side here, I've created a color grading preset that I like to use across certain images. And it's nice to have a consistent look to your portfolio. If you have a whole bunch of different color grades to images and it looks very different, it's in my opinion better to have a cohesive unit of images using a similar color grading technique. So in Lightroom here, you can see a bunch of examples. I've used the same preset and the same technique across all of these images. And these images all feel very cohesive with each other. They've got the same effect applied. So let me show you how this Lightroom technique works. I'm going to go into this leopard image into develop. I'm just going to reset it. Now this image is very bright. It doesn't have the mood that I want. And I want to color grade this image specifically to the preset that I've created because I want to form a group of images that have the same sort of effect applied. Now, the first step in this color grading technique, you need to create your preset. So what you need to do is go through your image, simply just edit it how you would like, and then you can go into this HSL tab. You want to adjust the hue, the saturation and luminance, and you want to create a certain look to your image. Now I'm just randomly moving sliders here and just creating a quick change to the image. And then I'm going to come into the color grading tab. So let's just say that's the kind of color grade that I want to achieve on a lot of images. So now I can then come into the presets here, click this plus, and then I'm going to create a new preset. So you click that, click create preset, and then only select the color grading and the HSL color sections there. Then you can name your preset, you can choose where you want to save it, and then click create. I'm not going to create another preset because I'm going to use the one that I've already made. So I'll cancel that out. I'll reset this. Now this technique works by adding the preset before you do anything. 
The reason why I don't add any of the basic panel and any of the tone curve into the preset is because images are very different to each other. There is a lot of different colors in images. There's lots of different brightness, different contrasts, images shot in different light. So I don't like to add the basic and tone curve settings into my color grading preset. So to start off, I'm simply going to click the preset that I've created. Now you'll see it's changed the color a little bit there. So now what I do is after I've added that preset, now I will go in and edit the image. I'll adjust the exposure, the contrast. I'm not worrying about what the color looks at the moment. I'm going to leave the color work for the end. So now I'm just increasing some of these sliders, just getting a look that I'm after and a bit of clarity. And now adjusting the white balance is where the magic comes in. I'm going to increase the white balance. And now you can see the cooler white balance wasn't working for the effect that I was after. It needed a lot more warming up. So warming up this white balance has helped bring out the effect that I'm after in the image. I'm just going to tweak this contrast a little bit more. So as you can see, I'm after a very warm, contrasty color grade, but also with a little bit of blue in the shadows. So I'm just going to come back to my color grading here. I want to increase the blues a little bit in the shadows. So that's roughly the effects I'm going for. Now, I have created a reference image that I like to reference all of my future images off. And that is this line image here. I like the colors on this image. I like the mood. I like the dark contrast, the appearance. And what I can do is when I'm in the develop tab, I can actually reference an image by clicking this R and A button on the bottom left here. And then a second panel pops up on the left. It says drag and drop a photo from the film strip to set the reference photo. So that's where I will drag my line image. So now I can position my leopard next to the line and adjust the exposure and the contrast to try and match that a little bit better. So I can see it's probably a little bit dark, maybe a bit too contrasty. I'm liking the color. Probably something like that. Maybe add a little bit more saturation there, some vibrance. And then you can go further into your image. You can adjust the tone curve or whatever else you need. Let me do another example for you. So you can see this line image. I like the light. I like the mood. I like that dark background. And I'm envisioning the color grade on this image having a nice warm subject and a little bit of the landscape with a nice blue in the background there. So the first thing I'll do is add the preset. As you can see, it looks a bit sickly at the moment, but I'm not going to worry about that to start with. I'm just going to get the exposure and the contrast right. Let's up these shadows a little bit. Drop down the highlights, maybe increase that exposure there. Add some contrast. Add a bit of clarity. And then adjusting the white balance on this image warmer brings out that look that I'm after. Again, I'll bring up my reference photo and then I can go in and adjust this line image. I feel like the, it's probably a little bit too dark on those shadows. And I'll just bring it up a little bit. So the goal with color grading, you can apply any effect that you want. But in my opinion, if you're trying to build a portfolio of images, it's nice to have a consistent look across your, in this case, wildlife images. I like that blue tint to the shadows and that warm tint to the highlights. And you are welcome to use the presets available on my website. I've put a link in the description below. And if you want to support the channel, it's only $5. But if you want it for free, use this coupon code and it's yours. If you want to learn a little bit more about Lightroom, check out this video where I go into Lightroom's masking feature in great detail. But until next time, cheers.